Welcome to Color Arts Fall Educational Event. Can you believe it's been eight events so far, guys? We've been doing this for two years. It's amazing. Now, a little commercial, and there'll be a video coming up here. If you go to the website, go to Education, and click Educational Events, you will see all eight educational events with lots and lots of beautiful videos to inspire you. In addition, there will be individual channel prizes, and how you win is by commenting below in the description, not in the chat, in the description, and your name will be entered um, for a random drawing to win a prism for set of your choice. So a lot of you know that I had knee replacement surgery. It's been quite a challenge. I'm real excited to be back at my painting table for the first time in probably nine months because I was having physical issues before I had the surgery. Um, I was planning on doing a completely different, a different piece. I started by base coating my board with the Prism Pour Mayan Gold, and I wanted to get the effect that you see when people are putting gold leaf on as a background and then they paint over. My plan was to put some resin texture on top, but I wasn't thinking straight resin and a tip for all of you that's not played with resin. Resin picks up the effect of whatever surface is first surface it's on. So when I poured it out, the non-shiny silicone made the resin have a matte effect and it wasn't transparent. So I ran out of time. So what I ended up doing is fooling around with playing with Josonia varnish and primary elements. And can I tell you, these mixed together are glorious. It makes the most be beautiful glazing effect. And the prism pour was like I was painting on glass. When it dries, it dries with such a hard, shiny surface. It was beautiful. So this is more of a test of how to paint gradients, how the colors blend into one another. This is only part one. I plan on having a part two to this because I'm gonna add that resin texture to this piece. It'll just have to be, uh, you'll see the part two a few days after the event is over. Finally, I wanna say how grateful I am to our Color Art affiliates that have put their heart and soul in making these beautiful videos for everybody and bring a little more, more joy to the world. It's a lot more work than you may think filming and editing these pieces and these folks deserve to get a big thumbs up for all their hard work. So without further ado, let's get started with a color art cornucopia educational event. I painted my 16 by 20 board with prism pour Mayan gold and let it dry for several hours. I begin by pouring some Gelsonia varnish in my mixing cup. Next, I added a scoop of Harvest Moon Primary Elements Dry Paint Pigments. Wow, I put too much varnish in this little cup. I only need not even a quarter of that. I'd say when I'm mixing these colors up, I'm using a quarter teaspoon at a time of varnish. 
As you can see, I taped off different sections with painter's tape. I have five different areas. I'm going to do five different styles of gradient colors, meaning a dark and a light and a medium tone of a color family in each section. I begin by painting this section with the Harvest Moon. I am amazed at how beautiful this glaze effect is. It's translucent. It's real slick because it slides right over the top of that dried prism pour. It feels like I'm painting on glass. Next, I begin painting with that. It's a really deep burnt orange called Madagascar Ruby. You know, when you hear the word ruby, you're going to think red, but this is a really, really deep orange. I am in love with how this varnish paint, for a better use of words, just glides over each other and blends so easily. In this section, I'm going to add some highlights by glazing over the top of the other two colors with this beautiful yellow called, or golden yellow called, fennel flower. Wow, these pastel colors positively glow over this Mayan gold base. You can also get a similar effect if you had laid gold leaf as a base completely down over the board. Start mixing up some of our turquoise blue and turquoise green.
In this first cup, I'm going to add a drop of Vivid Intense Cobalt Teal. And in the second cup, I'm going to add a drop of Vivid Intense Teal Indigo. It's a much deeper turquoise. So I painted the bottom section with my Persian teal mixed with the interference green and my Nantucket blue mixed with the angel wings and in interference blue. I'm sorry that the first part of this, that section was out of uh, camera for you guys. In this section, I painted our two peach colors, Papaya Coco and Pad Paradasha. That was actually named out of a famous sapphire that is a beautiful peach tone. So what I did is I just kept blending the two colors back and forth in this area. Here I removed the tape so I could smooth out the color between the top section and the peach section I just painted. Next, I taped down a new section, the last gold section on the edges of each one, so I could lay the darker colors, the Aubergine and the Rhapsody Rose. see I'm mixing up a little rasp Rhapsody Rose in the Joe Sonia varnish and the Aubergine in the Joe Sonia varnish. That deep dark blue violet, that Prussian blue was already pre-mixed off camera. first color I'd lay down was some Rhapsody Rose. It looks really different on top of that Mayan gold. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm adding some of that deeper aubergine over the top. And aubergine is like an eggplant color, but again, it looks so different painted over that gold base. Okay, so now we're going to see what some of that Prussian violet looks like brushed over the top of these two colors. So I began removing the tape while the paint was still wet. Next, I begin blending the wet colors over the top of the dry sections. Here I took a little bit of that Prussian Violet, such a pretty color and brush it over the top of the turquoise section. Next, I took some of that um, Persian teal that I still had mixed up and blended it right into that wet Prussian violet to finish this off. So here are the final results. I'm having trouble with my camera filming right now and taking stuff up, but you can see how glorious these colors are under the light. Once they get a resin treatment, the texture in the center and uh, the resin completely on top of all the colors. This is going to be magnificent. So I just want to say uh, I really enjoyed this. I can't believe how beautiful the highlights are. That gold red, that gold color is that fennel flower kind of streaking across. It looks like part of a horizon there. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you guys checking in with us. Next up is Sarah Taylor, the beautiful and talented Sarah Taylor, and you do not want to miss her video. Thank you, everybody, and see you next time. Bye-bye.